Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm sharing with you a project for Spellbinders. We're using the Glimmer Kit of the Month for September 2020. This month's kit is called Have a Colorful Day. Um, love this kit. There's three sentiments in here. There's one that says Have a Colorful Day. It says Over the Rainbow for You. And then the last one is in an art shape. They'll go perfectly over your rainbow and it says follow your rainbow. So fun sentiments, there's layers that you can foil, there's an outline rainbow that you could foil, and there's two dies. One die will cut out the outline of your rainbow and then the other one will cut out some clouds. This month's foil is called rainbow, and I've used it before, I just love it. I think it's the neatest thing. It has every color of the rainbow in here, and we're gonna be using that for our sentiment. So my machine's been heating off to the side. We're gonna bring that in. We're gonna start off by foiling our sentiment that says have a colorful day. And then for our outline of our rainbow, we're gonna bring in a different foil. I'm gonna bring in my prism. I wanted a soft effect for the outline of my rainbow. You can barely see it um, after the finished project is done, but I think um, the subtleness of the prism foil is gonna work out great. For my sentiment, you can see I cut down a strip of the rainbow foil and we're going to use that so we have a rainbow colorful sentiment. <laughs> we're going to put our uh, prism foil over our outline, got to put it the right way here, and then we're going to add our, now this foil we're going to make sure that I have the four colors on the left here on the sentiment. So I'm just making sure because I want those four colors. We're actually going to bring in four different foils for my stash for the rainbow pieces. I'm gonna add my cardstock, and then we're gonna add our plates here, and we're gonna go ahead and foil those. While that's heating up, I'm gonna die cut out 10 clouds, and just using regular white cardstock, we're gonna run those through the die cut machine. Now our sentiment's all ready to go. We're gonna reveal how fun this looks, and boy, I sure got a lot of excess foiling, but that's okay, it was mostly on the end, and I think I can clean it up. So we're gonna go with that. And then this is our outline with the prism foil, and it foiled beautifully. It's gonna work out great. Now you can die cut this outline out with the coordinating die that's in your glimmer plate set here. We're gonna go ahead and take our largest arch and then our second largest arch and color those with some different colors of foil. Again, I'm bringing these in for my stash. I have green, teal, fuchsia, fuchsia flowers, the purple, and then I have pink. So the first layer, which is the largest arch, let me show you. This is um, why I wanted to make sure I had those four colors um, for my sentiment because these are the foils that I'm gonna use, kind of coordinating my sentiment with my rainbow. So we're gonna start off with the largest arch using the um, green foil, and then our second largest, I'm gonna use teal. We're gonna add our cardstock, build our sandwich here, and then I'm gonna use my sand eraser and clean up my sentiment. Eventually, we're gonna block that off, um, but I'm gonna continue off camera with that. But I do wanna share with you how this die cuts. So easy to line up, guys. You take the die, and then there's a, the, um, let me clean this up a little bit. <laughs> okay, this is ready to go. We're gonna run this through. We don't wanna over overheat it. <laughs> um, sorry about the shaky camera. Um, I have a reason for that, and I'll tell you that, and I'll just a little tell you the reason for that, just a little bit. But um, here is my green foil with the largest arch, and it foils beautifully. And then I have the second largest here with the teal, and it got a little bit of excess foily, but I think it's workable. Okay, we're gonna clean this up with your sand eraser, and then um, I'm gonna show you how to line up the outline die so you could foil. Um, or you can, so you can die cut your rainbow. Now there's um, the pokey holes that are in your die, okay? You want to line those up. There's there's um, four down the, five down the center and then there's some on the bottom of your rainbow. Line those up to where you can see the foil behind those little pokey holes. Um, if you can see white cardstock, it's not aligned. You want to make sure they're lined up. That's so important. And then it will die cut out perfectly. 
I'm going to run this through, tape it down with low tack tape, and then I'm going to run it through my die cut machine. So warning, it's going to shake a little. <laughs> okay, my cord, my camera cord is actually hitting my um, Platinum 6. Sorry about that. Okay, we're going to punch out. Each of these little pieces will punch out. We're going to keep those. We're going to use those first to add some dimension to our rainbow. But I wanted to share with you the outline here. It does foil beautifully but it foils to the line. So you have a shimmery, shiny rainbow. If you wanted to do that with a rainbow foil in your kit this month, it would work out just the same. Just make sure those pokey holes are lined up. Um, so right behind your, your foiled area. Now for these arches, I'm just gonna take that same die, line it up, tack it down with my low tack tape, and then we're gonna run these. So we're gonna have individually arches. And then we're going to have extra arches too. Um, I'm going to keep those. I'm, I want to actually die cut out a few more because the cardstock that I'm using won't die cut out a full rainbow. But this is our, our green here, our first layer. And it foils lovely and it die cuts out and it's so easy to line up. I'm going to punch these out. And if um, you can keep your rainbow outline and do some inlaying if you wanted to. So I'll set that aside punch out each one of these little pieces and I'm going to continue on with my teal just line up that second layer and then I went ahead and did the third layer with um, my uh, fuchsia flower the purple foil and then I'm gonna do the fourth layer the smallest layer with my pink foil so a whole bunch of different colors of foils that match my sentiment here and you can see it cleaned up good after I trimmed off that excess foiling. <clears throat> okay, now these are the extra pieces. We're gonna create, normally what I would do, what I started to do actually, is to um, layer my rainbow outlines together to give it a little bit of dimension. But I thought we would mix it up a little bit and we're going to inlay these in our outline rainbow, but we're gonna add dimension to each one of these arches. So I'm layering three together with my glue you want to make sure that they line up beautifully because since you're inlaying them, um, even if they're off a little bit, um, it won't fit back into your rainbow. So I'm just layering them together. There's my first teal piece. Actually, it's not teal, it's green. But it's pretty thick and it adds dimension. If you don't want to do all this layering with the extra pieces that you have, um, I suggest maybe using foam, foam adhesive. But this I thought was a little bit more on the card itself it actually feels real heavy duty really nice <laughs> okay now while i'm layering the rest of these together i want to tell you a little bit about what's happening in the smith household um this video is actually pre-recorded morning i actually recorded this um uh, about the second week in august um early about the 10th of august okay that's actually the date <laughs> um we're actually selling our home and so um, we sold our home and then we were buying, buying a new one and I'm working still at the same time but all of my videos um, for the month of last month um, were pre-recorded only because I needed a little bit of time I didn't want to leave you guys hanging or in, <laughs> I wanted to keep giving you inspiration as I moved um, I kind of wanted to make it a seamless move but um, it turns out that my Spellbinders Club kits are gonna be a little bit later than anticipated this month. This is actually the only kit that I got done before we had to um, load up the truck and start moving um, to our new house. So lots been going on, bear with me. Um, I'll be a little bit late with the Spellbinders Club Kits, the card kit of the month, the small die of the month club kit, and then the large die. I'll be a little bit later on. Um, hopefully right now, as you're watching this, um, I am actually building my craft room. I'm super excited about it. Actually, I'm going to record um, my kind of remodeling of my craft room. Uh, it's actually going to be the sunroom in our new house. I'm so excited about it. So I'm going to share it with you guys too. So um, bear with me. That's why my camera is actually shaking right now. My table that I'm crafting on, um, is, I'm still in my craft room, but my craft room is actually empty. We have everything boxed up. So I have minimal supplies. And um, I have a kind of a makeshift desk that the camera cord's kind of hanging on. And so that's why whenever I run anything through my Platinum 6, the whole thing is, is shakes. So sorry about that. But I'm super excited about the move. It's been a lot, a lot of work. Um, 
and I'm I hope um, I hope um, you're excited as I am to see the, the new craft room but it needs a little bit of work I'm sure I have to do some painting and stuff so that's why I'm probably gonna be a little bit late with the other club kits okay I added <clears throat> two clouds to a panel the panel that I'm using is the chambray shirt card stock from fun stampers journey beautiful blue guys I'll link it down below but my panel size is actually three and a quarter inches by four and a half I went ahead and added two of my clouds because I want them tucked underneath the outline of my rainbow and as I got my rainbow down I got glue everywhere and I sometimes when glue dries it does dry to a shiny finish and I didn't want that on my finished project so we're gonna just flip it over and do a redo I'm gonna add my clouds just so a little bit of it's tucked under my rainbow I'm gonna add the bottom one here add a little more glue and then we'll just make sure that the rainbow kind of hits the top and the bottom of the cloud and then we'll press that down and again this is foil this is foiled with the prism foil and it's so pretty in real life okay now I have the rest of the clouds um, we're gonna add but first we're gonna add each one of our rainbow layers I'm adding glue on the inside of my rainbow outline and then we'll add our green and then we'll add our teal and it fits beautifully in there and the dimension that it adds is so neat I love I'm so glad I did it this way but I added all of my my arches and now I'm going to add my sentiment this one says um, again uh, have a colorful day and I hope your day is colorful <laughs> we're gonna line up our we're gonna remove the release paper first and line our sentiment up right below the rainbow I'm making sure it's nice and centered and then I'm gonna go ahead and take each one of my little clouds and we're going to add foam adhesive behind there and we're going to add them behind um, our background filling the entire background top and bottom um, with each one of these clouds i am overhanging the clouds so that um, they're overhanging off of the um, chambray shirt uh, cardstock which is a pretty color of blue i think i mentioned that but i had to mention it again <laughs> <laughs> but um, once it's filled in I thought we needed one more cloud so I die cut out one more with white cardstock and we're gonna add our last one here so our panel is ready to go and I think that looks lovely and I love the dimension of that rainbow okay we're gonna flip this over I'm gonna take some larger foam squares and we are gonna pop up this panel um, normally I'd use fun foam or I would use my my foam tape but I happened to pack that <laughs> so I'm just using what I have here um, after we have the adhesive backing removed we're going to carefully adhere this to some black licorice cardstock the panel of the panel size of the black licorice cardstock measures three and a half inches by four and three quarters so we're kind of matting our cloud on our black now I thought we needed a little extra something so I'm using the grid paper background stamp from Fun Stamper's Journey to add a little bit of black detail directly on my card base. I'm going to ink up my background stamp with my black ink and then we're going to directly adhere our card base over the top and I'm going to press it really good and then um, so we have a little bit of that that grid line on the background. Now unfortunately when I lifted it up it, it stamped beautifully but I lost my footage so um, rather than me having to reload it I thought we would just share what you what it looks like after I already adhere my panel to it sorry guys <laughs> but just that little bit of black um, with the grid paper adds something to the card base and I really like that but um, basically that's my card I'm not gonna add any bells or whistles I am gonna take my C1 marker though and we're gonna highlight each one of the clouds um, to give our clouds a little bit of depth I'm just going over the left side of the clouds on all of them C1's gonna blend out nice um, and give it a little bit of shading uh, that's not too um, too bold but no bells and whistles um, I think when you have the foiling you don't really need much because that shimmer just kind of takes over your card but yes that's my card for today thank you so much for joining me um, again the rest of the card kits might be a little bit later than normally normally I like to do it right 
um, on the 1st of September, but it's not going to happen this month. It's going to be a little bit later, guys, so bear with me. But super excited about the move, and I get, I'm super excited about sharing it with you. If you're interested in the Glimmer Kit, links are below as always, but here's some close-up pictures. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a fabulous day, and we will see you soon.